welcome back today we are going to see a reusable object named uh, OLEDB Accelerator so few of our uh, users had asked for uh, how to write collection into uh, a spreadsheet excel spreadsheet with the help of OLEDB so for that we have created a reusable object with the help of uh, C sharp and OLEDB. So basically, user need to provide a collection along with the destination Excel path. So these are the two parameters uh, uh, the current uh, uh, object will take as input parameters and uh, it will get stored I mean, the, all the collection records will be stored inside the Excel sheet that we have mentioned. Here, always it will try to override the Excel if it is already exist. Basically, it will delete the old file and it will try to create a, a new file if the file is already exist. So, uh, keep this in mind. If you wanted to use this uh, 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 object, yeah, you should know uh, where to store the destination excel so if we jump back uh, to the global global code so i have added maximum of the code inside uh, uh, our uh, global code okay yeah so uh, before uh, jumping to the code we have added a uh, few of the important uh, uh, namespaces over here that is a system dot collection dot generic system dot io system dot data dot oledb and system dot text and jump back to the global code so we have added uh, required uh, data types and dot uh, uh, net data types and we do have a public method called excel to excel uh, export to excel uh, using oledb which will take a few parameters like a collection connection string file name and uh, you wanted to delete this file or not and if we pass this parameter as true it will delete the existing file and it will create a new one however as this is the global code you can uh, see here the uh, I mean uh, delete operations as well but we have accessed this function uh, inside our code stage and now this is responsible for storing all the uh, collection information inside an excel file okay you can uh, go through uh, entire uh, um, code if you are interested but uh, it will uh, completely write down everything inside our spreadsheet that we have mentioned and uh, we will jump back to the collection to excel we do have two input parameters uh, input collection and destination excel path and I have added uh, a result uh, I mean message output uh, parameter uh, just for uh, logging purpose and we if we jump back to the code stage we do have uh, two input parameters and uh, one output parameter input parameters contain some uh, destination excel path and input collection and we have a message we do have code along with a few validation messages if the destination excel path is empty just throw an error message if excel path was provided and the collection doesn't contain anything simply throw an error message that is uh, you know cannot process empty collection if everything is okay just execute oledb by passing the input collection this is the connection string that we have this is the destination excel path and uh, i have clearly mentioned try to override the file each and every time that uh, you try to execute this code so that's it it's a uh, i mean here particularly in the code stage it is very simple but maximum of the code has been added inside our global uh, uh, code and now let's uh, try to execute okay i just wanted to check whether the validations are working as expected or not so 
I'll try to execute it right now. See, we have a message called destination Excel path is required. Okay, good. It is working. Now I will add destination Excel path. I wanted to store my Excel D drive databases demo XLSX. Okay, I will uh, add the destination Excel file and the Excel file was not there. Right now the folder is empty. D drive database folder is empty. Now refresh execute perfect it just threw an er another error stating that cannot process empty collection because the collection was empty and here our intention is to write the collection into destination excel and if you try to see it here nothing was created because the i mean the function is never got executed because we need minimum one row inside our collection. If the collection is empty, there is no point of executing the code. Let's add some records here. Just I'm um, uh, trying to give uh, some random uh, columns. I'll give number. I mean, I have added ID, name as text, and I have age, again number, and I'll add some initial. I'll initialize it. Number one, James, and I'll give another record. Refresh and uh, try to execute. There you go. It showed just success. Let's jump back to the database and uh, uh, folder uh, D drive. It is showing demo sample dot xlsx. That is what the destination file path that we have mentioned. You can see the destination file path as a D drive databases database slash demo uh, sample xlsx. Open demo sample dot xlsx. Check whether the data was there as expected or not. Yeah, you can see ID, name, age, one, two, Jim Smith, age, Jenny Smith, age. And interesting point, you can see always your collection name is going to be your sheet name. So there you go. So as always, I am going to upload this object into my GitHub repository. There were no dependencies over here. Uh, you no need to add any of the third party libraries. It will be available uh, with uh, framework libraries. You need to additionally import a few namespaces, which I have already uh, imported. If you just wanted to use the uh, object as is it will work as expected uh, without any issues if you found any issues please uh, try to reach out to us thanks for watching have a great day